What is he looking at? The middle distance. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Pal's Play Wind Waker. When we last left off, I got a lot of stuff. I got two heart pieces. I got... Uh, actually, go check the mailbox, because we may have some mail. Okay. Uh, we, I got a heart piece. Uh, we got another bottle, which is great. Um, what else do we do? Nothing much, actually. Yeah, we oh. didn't accomplish much. And then I was super frustrated with the mail sorting minigame, which is stupid. I don't like those kinds of minigames. <sighs> I do. <laughs> those are so annoying to me. But anyway, this time we're just going to... We're gonna rope over this gap. So go ahead and do it. Or I could use the thing. We're gonna balloon. rope over? Is yeah, that we're a new rope. verb? Yeah, you're roping right now. Ah. Rope. See, your like your favorite hobby is roping. <gasps> which is awesome. It's an awesome activity. Oops. Uh those are Octorox? Yes. Um, and Octorox are special because they can shoot stuff at you, but you can just reflect it right back with your shield. In fact, no, you can't really show this off, can you? Because sure, the, well. next, the next one's in a really inconvenient spot for that. Can you hit them back with your sword in this game? Um, I don't... I haven't tried. I don't think you can. I'm pretty sure you can. That's Sky... No, that's Skyward Sword that I'm thinking of. You can't do it in this game. That's just stupid. Okay, hopefully this enemy will appear so I can blow him up. Maybe he can come. And, okay, so you, you did do it. it. Yeah. Although, I personally prefer to grapple onto this while he's still alive, swing over, jump, and do a jump attack. He will recede before you get to him, though. I know, but it's still fun. It is cool looking. It's rather cool looking. I why, like this music. Why is it you get all the action during your episodes? <laughs> Just bad timing. Good timing. Bad timing on my part, good timing on yours. Or just <laughs> how the cookie crumbles. Awesome. I Stop saying that, pal. Why am I saying that? I'm an idiot. People, type in the comments that I'm an idiot. But use a smiley on both ends of idiot. Okay? Yeah, there we go. Oh no! The face has a pimple. <laughs> oh no, he has a bunch of pimples. No! Why do you have to ruin all the cutscenes? Because it's fun. No, it's not. Okay, go ahead and kill that thing. It's stupid. It's only fun for you. Kill the tree. Those are, those, the choochers are good. Oh, you get this! And also, Tinkle can't do anything in here, so that's lame. Green choochoo -choo jelly does other stuff. Red choochoo -choo jelly can be made into potions at a potion shop in, um... Uh, in Windfall? Yeah, Windfall. You can make potion, red potions with it, um, for free, mind you. And green potions you can make green potions with, which I'll actually be explaining what they, those do this episode. Uh, but oh, the, man. Oh, man. Whoa, whoa. With the, what? Oh. Oh, that's what happens. Um, Nova's actually doing this. She's farming up all of the choo-choo jelly because once you kill all of these choo-choos, there's a cutscene. And when that cutscene rolls, you won't be able to get the jelly. So she's being smart now. But now she's farmed everything, and she's almost lost the heart that I gave her this last episode. Oh, another difference about the green choo is that they take two hits? Mm. Uh, yeah, they, yeah do. I think they do. They take two hits as opposed to one, and they can go into, like, Vladimir's pool. Neskuma uh. skubada. Neskarbi nukala. That's Hylian, by the way. It sounds like Russian. Niskari Gnulak Giragsku. Yeah, it sounds like Russian. That's his, that's Hylian. I must apologize, I was in error. I saw your clothing and suddenly I felt a longing for an age gone by. That longing caused the ancient tongue to pass my lips. I am the guardian spirit of this forest haven. The Deku Tree. Deku, Deku. Nova gives me glare whenever I say Deku. But whenever I say Deku, I feel like I'm spitting on the Japanese, so I'm going to lose both ways. I owe you my thanks for your aid in ridding me of those foul creatures. Really not that foul. I'd love to have one as a pet. Tell me, was it not the King of Red Lions, the boat who speaks, who led you to this place? Maybe. So it is true. Then you have come here because you have need of the Pearl of the Goddess. I see. I knew there was a reason the monsters had begun to congregate in the regions around my wood. Now I understand it. He has returned. Ganon has returned. 
In that case, we must make haste. Post haste? Koroks, little children of the woods, this traveler is not your enemy. Let your hearts be at ease and show yourselves. <laughs> Say hello to some of the cutest characters in the game. Why have they not brought these guys back? I don't know. They're adorable. Even in, like, a, t a 2D Zelda game. What do you call yourself? Link? Well then, Link. Oh wait, that's his voice. These are the Koroks, the spirits of the forest. Once upon a time, long ago, the Koroks took on humans for human forms, but when they came to live on the sea, they took these shapes. Now they fear people, but to me, they will, ev they will ever be my cherished little children. Now, this makes me wonder, are these the Kokiri? That was always my theory. I mean, if they took human fo well, humanish form, and he's calling them their his children, Kokiri are always children, so I'm pretty sure these are, co these are Kokiri. What became of them? Yeah. As it happens, you have come just in time for a ceremony that the Koroks will hold wo but once every year. It is about to begin. I shall grant the pearl to you once their ceremony is complete. I must apologize for the brief delay, but if the ceremony is not completed soon, an ill fate could befall us. So, let it begin. Are you ready, my children? <laughs> we are not, Mr. Dekutri! <laughs> Something has terrible has happened! It's Makar! Makar! That, that's, that's the best voice for him. What's the matter, Linder? You and Makar are always late. No, it's not that, oh great Deku Tree. Makar fell into the Forbidden Woods. What? The Forbidden Woods? I told him to be careful, but Mr. But Mr. Makar, this is suddenly becoming Gohan, <laughs> flew above the Forbidden Woods, and as he drew close to it... Foolish little Makar. Link, you have heard all this. No, oh, I was listening to MP3. <laughs> The Forbidden Woods are right beside the hallowed island of our for, uh, of our forest haven. These woods, the whole region is a vile place that is home to evil beasts. And now it has seen that, seemed that they have taken a, t a child of the forest named Makar. Your presence here is no mistake, I deem. The King of Red Lions likely expects great deeds of you. It is why he brought you here. I'm sorry to ask this of you, but can you go rescue young Makar for me? But, Great Deku Tree! People can't fly through the air. Ah, yes. Thank you, child. You are right. It is not possible to enter these woods from the sea, is it? Link, I would guess from your size that you are heavier than my Korok children. Yet I think we st still may be able to solve this dilemma. Is that a fat joke? I don't even know, because those little guys aren't that much smaller than Link, but they're solid wood. Wood can be lightweight. Wood can be very heavy as well. You must use the item I shall bestow upon you and fly for through the sky. Do we get his helicopter blade? That would be nice. Kamehameha! Kamehameha's changed over the years. <laughs> also, that guy has a big mouth. Hmm. Forgive me, Link, but could you climb up to my crown and get the leaf from up there? Sounds like some sort of sick hazing. Why? Go, climb that tree and get the leaf. It'll prove your worth. <laughs> well, if you put it that way, of course it does. Sounds like a hazing. This music's great. This game is great. I was not great at snail sorting, but Nova was. <laughs> list of things that are great. Not on the list? Mail sorting. <laughs> what is on the list? This little guy who has a bay leaf on- No, 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 talk to him! Okay. He has a bay leaf on his face. Wow! You're quite good at that, Mr. Knight. Just keep doing that until you get all the way to the top. If you shoot if you shoot out facing the wrong direction, don't panic. If you don't tilt the control stick in any direction, you'll land safely back in the bo Baba Blood. They're so cute. They are they're I pretty want, adorable. I want to draw them now. Can I have four of them? Only four. I can't do five. Four of them and one of each type of Pikmin. Yes. I'd rather have Pikmin, though. Pikmin just seem more useful to me. These guys are just wood, and they're kind of cute, but I'm pretty sure Pikmin will never wear off. You could have them do stuff for you, you could throw them at people you don't like, <laughs> and they could eat things. And I could mi totally miss out on the buds, which is literally the funnest part of, like, the game. 
Hey, the yellow Pikmin could probably power your computer. Yeah! You got the Deku Leaf. Set it to and use it with Y, Z, or X. <laughs> Just the voices. It's a leaf, but you're making it sound like some new piece of technology. Plant your feet on the ground and you can press X to blow on stuff. Favorite kid's toy. The Deku Leaf. Please, you must fly over there using your Deku Leaf. Okay, could you fly, could you actually take a left and go up there? Because you'll get even higher. Well, Equip your Deku Leaf, though. Uh, one thing real quick. What are you doing? Maybe I should get enough of those and get... Nah, no, we don't need it. Mm -hmm. I have Ting. I have green, I have Ting. All I right. will heal you of your magics. I may not have that potion yet. Uh, now, now that we've got a magic bar, though, I can explain that. We now have a magic bar. <laughs> it's, All the explanation needed. It's sort of like a stamina bar. Oops. It's actually vaguely like a stamina bar. Not in except the that it's um, for magic. And oh, now these and little. And you refill it by getting these little interesting wooden objects. Or jumping into the Baba Buds themselves. Go out that thing. Go out the thing. I just want to show that off. So, just to point this out, real quick, uh, this little islandy thingy thing has a guy on it. And if we were to fly over there, there would be, like, this weird latchy thing that we'd have to open it with... It looks like the top of a submarine. Yeah, we'd have to open it with a seagull. There are some switches around the place. Um, oh, wow. Tingle's telling me about us. Tingle Tuner is more powerful. But anyway, there's a switch around here somewhere that we can get with the seagull. We don't have a hoi pair right now. Also, we don't want to go way out of our way to do this. So, we're just going to go back inside. What are you doing? Go back inside. We can go that way. No, I want... Well, you could. But I don't want to. But anyway, as I was saying, Tingle um, can make his Tingle Tuner a little bit oh, more powerful. Oh, and you powerful. can also go in this flower and... Oh, do that, do that, do that, do that. Okay, wait. Do it. Where do I go from that flower? All the, all the way over there? No, just go to the, the leaf branch up there, right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think you can reach that. You better. I think. But yeah, this part of the game is really fun, just because you get you get free reign to climb around. Oh, and, it's gonna be close. And when you're oh. indoors, there's no wind to worry about. What's so out there? You can cruise wherever you want. What is out there? Uh, it's another way out. Go out there, and we'll just jump out from there. The guy down there doesn't say anything other than you can cut grass to get magic pots. So there's really no reason to talk to him. I just kind of like to explore. Okay, first of all, go and see how high up you are. How high up? No, Nova. How high up you are? Oh. You had one job. Oh. <laughs> oh. Snap. Can we get that? I think it's just a treasure chart. And then we have to climb... Go ahead and get it and we'll cut back up. Okay. That's the pa that's the magic of editing. We can go places and just immediately cut to going back to places. So we're not really s uh, wasting any time here at all. By now, is it really technically the magic of editing? It's everyday stuff now. No, it's it's pretty magical. Editing's a magical thing. Okay, from this, we'll probably get a treasure chart. We could get something better, like a piece of heart. No, treasure chart. Nailed it. All right, so now that we've done that, we will meet you guys back up at the top where we will actually progress the story. Yay! We're back. And we're down. And we're cutting grass, apparently. We're leaving that guy alone, not talking to him. Literally, all he says is that you can cut grass to get stuff. So, why talk to him? Yeah, I'm back. It's Tingle, except I'm not. Now, I could use the Tingle balloon. Oh, right. Five seconds would totally get us over there. Oh, uh, it might. Isn't this Korok your favorite? This is Elma. Because she's an elm. Or she's more like a lily pad, but her name's Elma. It appears you have finally gotten the Deku Leaf. That eerie-looking island over there is home to the Forbidden Woods. Makar is trapped somewhere within there. You'll have to float over to the entrance from here using your Deku Leaf. But when you're flying with the Deku Leaf, you're at the mercy of the wind. If the wind can't carry you there, you'll fall into the sea before you land. If only the wind were blowing in the right direction to carry you there. Hint, hint, cough, cough, nudge, nudge. Wink, wink. Yeah. S throw up, vomit. <laughs> That's a way you hint people, right? Vomiting? <laughs> no. Hey, no, no, Nova, shouldn't you change the wind? 
And then you're like, oh man, he, he vomited. That means he's trying to tell me that I should change the wind. That's how human act interaction works, right? I wish the viewers could see my face right now. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, you can make it. Now that cyclone, despite looking bad, it's pretty helpful, actually. Uh, in fact, we need it to get to the Forbidden Woods. It will give us a gigantic boost upwards. It's not really a cyclone as much as it is, it, as it is an updraft. Updraft? Updraft. Yeah, that's an updraft. So, we're gonna do that. Can also, like Nova time? almost died off screen. No, I did not. You were down to two hearts. I am an expert. Two hearts might as well be 14. Hmm. <laughs> really? I am also an expert. At, at Skyward mail Sword. sorting? No, just don't even mention mail sorting again. I hate that. It's so stupid. Talk to that guy. Talk to him. Uh, I'm gonna jump off and meet the... Okay, updraft. skip all the dialogue in the game. Sure, Nova. This is Nova, everybody. Uh, Nova. You did it. Uh, watch out for the P-hats. Yes. That is spelled P-E-A, people. Not how you thought it was. P-E-A and Shame fire. on you if you thought it was spelled the other way. Oh, you can start those on fire to get a, a chest, I'm pretty sure. With what? I don't know. You're the expert. Oh, wait, no, never mind. They're just lit at night. That's what it is. They don't give you a chest. They're just lit up at night. How do I know that? I came here at night. <laughs> uh, okay, then. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm good at this Thanks game. for that useful tidbit. Okay. We're running short on time, but I think we have a little bit more. Oh, yeah, we do. Wait, 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 wait. What? What? No, no, no. Go to the chest. Isn't it covered by something? No, it's not. It's just guarded. Okay. If you yeah. can call them guards. You're welcome. Really? Yes, really. Go ahead and uh, take your stuff. Take your stuff. Watch out. Or I'm watching out. Thank I you. I would have blown him up. See, the reason why I'm so spammy with the bomb is that... If we go over the ruby cap, then we're, our rupees are not doing anything. So it's always nice to kind of keep a little bit of a managed thing there. And the dungeon map, because we needed that. Right? Ooh. S got a good idea. That little thing on the wall, can I bomb it? Ooh, try. Aw, oh, man. Mr. Fairy, if you thought rupees could buy you happiness, you're an idiot, sir. And I hate you. Stupid tingle. Are you reading between the lines? Yes. Fairy Eek! Ah, Tingle. Why did we take him take him on this adventure? Because we're fools. You got a red rupee, which means Choo Choo! <laughs> Choo Choo, I'm also here. Oh man, that was cool. Triple kill. This grass doesn't give you anything. It's really weird. This grass only appears here? Yeah, Here sure. and then a specific part way later in the game. And it this this particular grass doesn't really give you anything. It like the drop rate is very low. Go ahead and throw it in there. Yeah. Stupid tingle. Alright. Go ahead and go through that door so we can see Hold what's on. through Hold there. On. Real quick. What are you doing? So this is what we're going to have to deal with. It seems like you'd be you'd be okay even if you fell here. Good to know, Tingle. But we're not gonna fall here, Nova. You didn't warn me. I did. I was gonna end it off there, but you know what? I'm going to end off here anyway. Just go hide in a corner. Okay. Put hide. Put your face in a corner. 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 There you go. That is going to be it for this episode. Nova won't listen to me and gets game overs and is generally toxic. You didn't warn me, good sir. Okay, I'll give it to you there. But next Thank time, you. it's all your fault. Uh, but that is going to be it for this episode. <laughs> it's always my fault. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. And if you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I could make the next video so that you would like it. Uh, I release new episodes of Wind Waker Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Nova has her face in a corner. And we will join you next time for another Pals Play Windwalker. It's Wind Waker. Serves them right.